And then uh, with everybody on the phone, that should just about take care of it. I'm Michelle Yarn, and this hour we have gathered HSN's very best deals from the world of coin collecting. Now, don't forget, you can browse HSN's entire coin collection at hsn.com. Search coins on hsn.com and you can see new arrivals, which coins have flex pay available, and so much more. So let's get back to HSN's professional coin collector, Mike Mizak. This is the perfect way to honor all of the national parks. Big, bold, fun, collectible. And do we have a regular size quarter, Mike? Uh, we'll get one out here. Yeah, I, I bet love, you we can get one I out. bet we can. Um, these, Mike, talk to us about the significance of these because these are ginormous. Well, here, here's the thing. The United States government, when it first started, the, the United States State Quarter Program was, of course, so phenomenally popular. It was so, uh, it, it kind of revived the entire coin collecting industry and, and world. And they continue continued on with that uh, with the America, the beautiful series, which is America's national parks and national historic areas. One of the things that they decided to do with this uh, that they'd never done before is they decided to make each and every one of those quarters in a five ounce silver version. So they did the quarters, reprised the quarters, and each one of these is five ounces of absolute pure silver. Nine, nine, nine fine silver, five ounces. So as you can see, it features the edge lettering that's right there. Well, they started these out in 2010, and it created this huge uproar in 2010. And those 2010 coins, that came out sell today for four to six hundred dollars a piece because of the numismatic value because they only made about twenty two thousand five hundred of each one of those twenty four thousand of each one of those well this is the brand new release this is the ellis island folks now i have had all of the 2017 coins coming into this so we had just recently the ozark riverways i sold that out instantaneously at 199 dollars i brought in another batch at, a, at an increased price i think 229 dollars and we sold every one of those the frederick douglas we sold out at 199 dollars i think they're about 299 dollars now and then prior to that we had the effigy mounds coins that we sold at 199 dollars and i think they're about 249 or 279 now because what the united states government has done this year is when they make the release they make a certain number of coins and then they don't make them again so here's what it comes down to the Ellis Island remember I was telling you the 2010 coins mm -hmm. at 24,000 coins are four to six hundred dollars a piece this coin is rarer all the 2017 coins are rare as a matter of fact this is by mintage the rarest of the five ounce America uh, solid silver coins so what you end up with is not only, and at 20,000 is the mintage. Okay. It would make it by far the rarest American. If this was an American Silver Eagle with a mintage of 20,000, I can tell you what it would sell for, about eight or $10,000 because of that mintage. But it's even rarer than that, and it's not one ounce of silver, it is five ounces of solid silver. It's five ounces of solid silver. I'm gonna go ahead and put an actual quarter next to this. Now, <clears throat> do not confuse this. Please do not confuse this with a with a, 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 one of the, a bar or one of those other things you know that are out there in mm -hmm. the marketplace bars or rounds that are made by private mints. This is a United States government issue coin. This is made by the United States. Look at the sheer size. The rarity of this is absolutely positively stunning. And then add in the fact that what I've got here is the Ellis Island. Right. And you the said this one oh. and only release of these. Mm -hmm. They, really, they made 20,000 coins. I bought 1,000. I bought 5% of the entire mintage. You and I have not done one of these in prime time yet. Say, right. I have 434 left of the 1,000 I brought in. Right. And the reason is, as soon as we put them on hsn.com, people have been waiting. We've been collecting these. We've been selling these. So all the ones that I sold for 179, silver was a little less, 179, 189, 199, which are my original issue prices, we are now, when we have those, are now 249, 299, 329, 349. I have the Hawaii coin from 2012. I think it's $529. This coin is every bit as rare as the Hawaii, with, of course, the same exact amount of silver, five ounces of silver in each and every one of these. So you've got fantastic intrinsic value. You've got absolutely amazing rarity. 
of only 20,000 coins, I have my original price from my original release right here. Original price from the original release. These are all that I'm going to get at $199. Mm -hmm. Already in the secondary market, if I were to buy them, I'd have to be $229, I'd have to be $249. If you just check, if I have on hsn.com, if I have the Ozark Riverways coin, because I had to restock those, I was only able to get 400 of the Ozark Riverways. And when I got those, and I think I'm 229 on those, perhaps a little bit more, we've already sold 82 of these, okay? I've only got about 400 left now of the 1,000 that I had. Five ounces pure silver in each and every one. So That's hefty. Was, yeah, well, yeah, it's over a quarter <laughs> of a pound of pure silver. So, so understand that, that part and parcel of this is... At $199, a significant part of the price is just the silver value. Right. Now add in the incredible rarity of the coin itself. The fact that this coin is fantastically rare. Okay? The fact that it is, it is the rarest of all of the five ounce American uh, uh, silver quarters that are out there from the America the Beautiful series. Add in the fact that I got these at the original issue price, and they've already started moving into the secondary market, yes. as, is, uh, as is often the case. And as you can see uh, uh, that, so, so the rarity of these is virtually unprecedented. Then add in the intrinsic value of every single one of these. The fact they have over a quarter of a pound of silver in each, uh, in each one of those, and that becomes true and abject collectability. And Mike, is this the largest coin that the U.S. Largest made? silver coin. The largest, largest silver, silver coin. coin. Well, the largest silver coin, gold coin, largest coin. A coin ever. That largest the US coin they've ever made. Ever yeah. made. So, I mean, if you were looking at the scale and you picked up the palladium coin, and that was the first palladium coin that the Mint has ever made, and then you're looking at the scale, you're looking at the size, the collectability, the rarity of these coins, the five-ounce silver coins. This is the largest silver coin the U.S. Mint makes. So there are so many reasons to collect this coin. The the fact that we're putting it on four flex today of $49.99, already over 120 now have been spoken for. We've got a limited quantity to go around. And this was really truly known, Ellis Island, as the island of hope. It was a beacon of hope that welcomed over 12 million immigrants for a better life coming to America. There is such a significance and an importance to having this coin and collecting this coin, even, Mike, for the holiday season, to be able to give it. It is just stunning. We're going to show you a well, comparison. This is the Riverways. I had to restock these because I sold them out at 199. I have I have them here at 219 that you see here 219.95. I think I got about two dozen of those left at the $20 more price. If I restock them, that'd be 249 or 279. So that's what happens. That's what's going to happen to this coin in 360 coins. Okay, I'll have to go into the secondary market and try to get those. So I still have the Ozark Riverways, yeah, which look, is the one before there's this. How many left? 19. Oh, there's 19 or 10. left. Is that 10 or 19? That, I, I can't, can't see, Mike. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 10 or 10. 10. There's Both only, of us can't see. Yeah. There's only 10 of those left right. at 219. At 219. Okay, I had like two or 300 of those at 219. There's 10 of those left. Right. And then I had uh, I, I, the Frederick Douglass is long gone. Okay. The effigy mounds is long gone. Oh, dude, I thought we had a few effigies. Oh, we do. We do, I think. Ooh. Don't what we? Is that? No. No, oh, no, think, we no, don't. No, I don't think we have any effigy mounts. Oh. Uh, uh, those are long sold out. So once again, five ounces, the 2017, or, uh, yeah, the 2017 five ounce coins have been kind of the quiet heroes mm -hmm. of, the, of the American numismatic production of this year. All the coins are like 20,000, the rarest of all of the coins that have been done in the five ounce America, the beautiful series. They've all been exceptionally rare, exceptionally difficult to get. This is the last of my quantity that I have at the original issue price for us of $199.95, over 150 of these gone, which basically means 750 ounces of silver. It's a lot. So we're looking at 40 pounds of silver, 40 pounds of silver look just the, gone just like that. Look at the detail. I mean, look at the detail. I mean, the mm -hmm. little boy with the American flag. I mean, it's that beacon of hope. It's that way of a better life. As those immigrants came to Ellis Island, you know, so many of us are so proud of America. And as we should be, this is a coin that really just, it's amazing, and I really hope you're getting it today. This is a coin I sold out. Same guy had two boxes of these.
This is a coin that I sold out quite some time ago. Ah. And I wished I could bring it back, and now I have been able to for the first time in quite a while. This is the Theodore Roosevelt. You talk about resonating with people. The Theodore Roosevelt, now this is the North Dakota National Park. They're done by state. And so the North Dakota National Park is Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I think this is one of the most beautiful of all of the five ounce American, uh, America the Beautifuls, as you can see right there, the beautiful Missouri River in the background, Theodore Roosevelt on horseback. The other thing about the Teddy Roosevelts is they were one of the rare, they were the second rarest silver, uh, uh, silver five ounce coin from 2016. So I've got the, the Teddy Roosevelt's, and that was my original issue price, was $189. I've not gone up a penny. I've been sold out for months now. This is the first time I've been able to sell these in 2017, and I only got a couple of boxes. So you have the opportunity. So once again, what are these, if you're just tuning in? They are the United States government since 2010, have been making these five-ounce silver coins. And they say, 999 fine silver, five ounces. So they're the largest silver coin ever made by the United States government. They make five of these every year to match the American National Parks quarter that was made uh, in that year as well. Only they're made in such fantastically low quantities. They are, I believe, the most undervalued and underappreciated coin that has been made by the United States government, certainly in the last 25 years, because almost nobody knows about them. They are a storehouse of intrinsic value. He said, I showed you the nationally advertised Cali, a five ounce bar of silver. It could have been made anywhere. Dave's Bar Shop, okay? $189. Not only do you get the, the five ounces of silver for the $189, right. but you get the fact that this is one of the rarest silver coins ever made by the United States government on top of that. Then add in the theme, Teddy Roosevelt, pretty popular, okay? So now you add in the theme of the Teddy Roosevelt, now add in the fact that it is a original, brilliant, uncirculated coin. Look at that thing. And when you get this and hold this, it is that massive. It is solid, pure silver, over a quarter pound of pure silver uh, uh, in this coin, which makes it one of the most stunning collectible coins. So when I bring these in, I give you an opportunity, a minute here, a minute there, two minutes here, two minutes there. These amazingly popular. One thing I can tell you, if you buy 10, they come in an original mint tube of 10 coins, 50 ounces of silver that says U.S. Mint on it. If you order 10, I'll send you the original mint tube as well. So just uh, for, because we have them, they're the original mint issue coins. That's important for you to know, is that those are the original mint issue coins. And I get them in the original mint sealed boxes, even though they're already neat. sold out limited edition. So that's a, big, uh, that's a big deal as well. So great opportunity. First time back with the Teddy Roosevelt's. We sold, I think, tons of the Gettysburg and the, the Cumberland Gaps and the Harper's Ferries, which we've not had for a while. The last quantities in the effigy mounds. Folks, if you, uh, this is a unique collecting niche right here of these five ounce silver coins that most people don't know about. Amazing intrinsic value. It wasn't that long ago that they melted for more than what I'm selling them for. And then you have the rarity of these that most people can only dream about owning a coin like this. I'm always rushing, I'm always up against it on this set. And one of the big reasons is, is it's so phenomenally popular. And, and I've gotta to try to do this without destroying the entire thing. Let me see if I can do that. If I do destroy the entire thing, I apologize in you. advance. We'll put it all back together. Yeah, we will. Uh, because of this set. We've already sold 16 of these. Wow. That's probably from the, the last time I sold this set. Um, we uh, probably had 100 people that tried to order and couldn't. Because I always have 100, I, I have 150, that's... I have 200, I have 250, I have whatever. Whatever, you know, I have whatever I have because they're very difficult to get, particularly this 2008 set right down here, and I'll get to all that in a minute. Let's go back in just a little bit of time, okay? All the proof state quarters. I have no idea why all the proof is parenthetical in that. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's, it's all the proof it's state quarters. It's, it's descriptive. It's ten years of state quarters. It's, it's just descriptive. It's actually 12, 11. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it's true. Inclusive. Yeah. That's true. Uh, 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 so it's just all the proof state quarters. Now, what is proof? Proof, understand, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing, okay? Proof coins are made differently. Proof coins are special presentation coins. And the United States government, the proof coins only come in the United States government issue proof sets just like you see here. Now here's why this is always one of the absolute number one bestsellers that we have. I am selling you these sets 
for less than the United States government did originally. What? The original cost on these with shipping and handling was $20 a set, $220 from the United States government with the, with, with the uh, shipping and handling because it was $14.95 plus $5 a shipping set? and handling. A set? A set. $14.95, yeah, that's normal for a proof okay. set. Okay. In fact, today's proof set is about $55, okay? okay? So these were just the state quarters starting in 1999, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, and it's all of those. I have then not only, because they put them out in these lenses, so they're difficult to see, and pack. if you go over there in front of Cali, mm -hmm. if we can look at that, I made a custom-made box. The United States oh, Mint cool. kind of sells a similar box. I think it's $14.95 or $15.95. I, I put a seal on there. I put it in the box so that you can hold that. And there you go, Kelly. you can hold it. So you can pull out any of the lenses and you can check them out. They're put in at an angle so they're easy to see and, and collect and hold. Very nice. So you have a nice place to put all 11 of the sets and you get them for basically 12 bucks a piece. That's crazy. Count the box in at $14.95 yeah. and you're $10 a piece on the set. You're basically That's literally crazy. $10 a piece on the set. These are going fast. I don't yes. even know if we're gonna make nine minutes. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. hopefully get okay. there. So now let me explain to you. So you have the original government proof sets. I put them in a box for you. I sell them to you for less than the United States government does. And you're going, well, they can't, I guess they're just not worth anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> Au contraire. <laughs> if you go to the nationally advertised catalog, as I want to do while I'm here, and let's go to this set. This, the, and I include this because they did the 10, uh, all 50 states, five coins per year, and then they did all the national uh, historic, uh, these are the uh, uh, territories, U.S. territories. So you have Washington, D.C. and the oh, Northern Mariana it. Islands, Puerto Rico, you know, uh, right. American Samoa, all That's that. Right. So those are the, the six coins from 2009. Now, individually, if you look at these coins and I look them up in the catalog, these little guys right here, $11.95 a piece. Oh. Times six of them. Oh my gosh. So that's like 70 bucks. Yeah. Okay, that's like 70 bucks for the 2009s, okay? If I look at the 2008s, oh. and these are actually the key coins. The Hawaii coin by itself individually, $45. Stop. $17.95, or $17.95, $17.95, $17.95, $17 .95, and 45 bucks. So that's about 120. So you're about 200 bucks, the cost of what I normally sell the set for, 199 for, for, just the, those two. for, the, for the last two sets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna insist you take all 11 <laughs> for $50 okay. off and I'm gonna give you a box. Okay. Okay. This is awesome. I've never seen us do, well, first of all, at 199 this sells out in moments, and we are busy already oh, on it. Well, yeah, all, er, everything's going on, on yep, this one. I yep. mean, you know, every, every phone line going. Because what you have, so, so if you were collecting the state quarters back in the day. Okay. Understand, unless you have these specific lenses that you see here, yeah. you don't have them. Because these are proof coins. These are not the coins that were released at the bank or the post office or somewhere out there in the general stream of commerce. These coins are only available in these United States. Like here's the 1999. It says 50 state quarters. That's not a good one. That's one of the ones I dropped last week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll show everybody. I, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll show my What'd own folly do? and foibles right there. I, I, I dropped that one on the oh. ground. <laughs> well, you won't be getting this. I, you won't get that. Well, that's set. why it's a sample set. That's exactly. But, but let's, you know, I, you know I, I do those kind of things. I'm sorry. Uh, and then, so here you have the 50 state quarters. There's the United States Mint logo that uh -huh. you're going to have right there. Awesome. And proof, remember, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. The coins are struck multiple times at higher pressures oh. to give you this mirror finish. More important, Importantly, they are significantly and substantially rarer than the regular issue coins. So if you were collecting the regular issue coin, let's say in 1999, and you had, the, oh, I have all the Delaware quarters, gem brilliant uncirculated. Well, these coins are like 400 times rarer. Wow. <laughs> They're like 400 times rarer. So when you look at this coin by coin by coin, there's 56 coins here. 56, 56 coins, you're so right. Two and a half bucks a piece. And some you're, of them are two worth and a half bucks a piece. Like, these are all like ten, eleven dollars a piece. These average twenty dollars a piece. And I'm looking here in the catalog and proof. I mean, the 1999s. Those are a mere six fifty a piece. So thirty two bucks for that. Is it just me, or are we making money on buying this set? Yeah, today? that's right. That's right. And that's what it comes down to. So, to, so I'm looking at so. So what are one of the? Uh, the okay, here's. There's a few of these, like the, uh, what are the 2003s in the catalog. You can actually get the 2003 set for $11. 
basically what I pay. So 99, 2001, 2, 3. So this set, they sell for the same price we do. Everything else, we're anywhere between three and 10 times less, less. money. Yeah. Less money. Yeah. So that, that's what it is. And as you look at some of these, and some of them are, are just, you know, kind of crazy in terms of their collectability and their desirability. The Hawaii coin by far and away uh, uh, being the rarest uh, uh, coin in that set. Coin and it was by in 09 that they added the, uh, the five territories, right? The six territories. Six territories. There's actually six territories. That's oh. why it's 56 coins. You got the 50 That's, states. Okay. And then the six territories. Got it. So if, if you remember what the United States state quarters were, this, you have to understand, 1998. Okay. 1998, I was on TV selling coins. That's uh -huh. what I do. Uh -huh. The coin industry, I got to be honest with you, was a little, it was kind of dead. The United States government didn't have anything interesting. They haven't done anything other than release a penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar okay. for, kind of boring. for 20 years. It was boring. It couldn't have been more boring. <laughs> and then they released the state quarters. Oh, that's... And then they released the state quarters. I remember in 1999, we had the Delaware quarter when it came out. Mm. And we had those, and we had them individually listed. I think they were $1.99 or $2.99. We had 10,000 of them that we put in the system. Yeah. When we went on the air, yeah. by the time I got on the air that night, and we and went on the air that night, uh, 1999. 99, okay. Okay. We went on the air. I th we thought there was a glitch. <gasps> what happened? But, well, they were all gone. Oh, my gosh. But they had all sold. That's crazy. I have literally sold more of these state quarters than anybody else alive. I have sold millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of United States quarters. But what I have not sold millions of is this set. And the reason is, is there's not millions of these sets to sell. <laughs> if there was, I would try. And that's why it's so critically important for you to understand when I have enough to actually spend some time so I can talk about the quarters. But we're counting you have to backwards. This is, a, this is a micro. It's been so long since I've been able to talk about quarters. How about you want to have the only United States coin that you're going to see right there with a diamond on it? 2003 Arkansas. Ooh. Oh, wow. And you know why that's that is? amazing. Because you can go find diamonds in Arkansas. At Crater Lake State Park, you, really? get, you can find diamonds and you can keep them. <laughs> oh, you pay oh, cool. ten bucks and you go look for diamonds. That's crazy. The only United States coin with a race car on it, of course, is Indiana. Okay, is going to be in there. You're going to have all of this history that each and every state decided to do, and they're memorialized in the rarest possible way, <clears throat> which is the proof American state quarter collection. And I can bring it to you for the lowest price. If you had been buying these things in 1999, if you would have bought them originally from the United States government, you would have paid more than $149.95. And that is very simply just the fact of the matter. And by the way, they're beautiful. Look at how shiny they no, are. No, because they're proof coins. Yeah. Let me let me show yeah. you these. Look at, look at these coins. Because proof coins, once again, are made differently. Look at the reflectiveness of yeah, these. Yeah, they're really pretty. Check these out. They're struck multiple times. By the way, you want a San Francisco Mint United States quarter? The only way to get them is in here. They is didn't it? release any S Mint or San Francisco Mint. The P's and the D's, Philadelphia and Denver's, those what went into circulation. The only way to get the San Francisco coin is right here. And we have drop below 300. That is now more than half the quantity spoken for, and we have a ton of you ordering. You can hear the excitement in Mike's voice. It's so rare that this is even available in any quantities at all, and these are gonna be selling out. In the next two minutes, these are gonna sell out. So we see you if you're on the lines. Don't hang up, jump in, get it now, 541 Can you show them the box again real quick? Yeah. Because I custom made the box. So what you do is, I wanna go over here, turn it sideways so you can see that we show it at an angle. Yep so that it's easy when you look at the coins, you can look down and see the coins. These are the coins uncertified and ungraded. They did two 30th anniversary American Silver Eagles. They did two of them. They did the SP coin that we sold at $149, and they did a proof coin. We sell this proof coin that you see right here at $189. Right. I may have that here in a minute. I don't know if I'll have time for that okay. or not. All right. Okay. So certified, this is well over $300 or $350. I have the coins. The two, this is the 30th anniversary set that the United States Mint never did. Okay? They should have, but they never did. I've already sold 16 of these, mm -hmm. and I haven't even, we just started presenting it. We have 257 just like that. left. And I have 257 left. This will sell out. I'm gonna, we're going to spend about six or eight minutes here. I will sell every one of these. 
The United States government did a 10th anniversary set. They did a 20th anniversary set, and they did a 25th anniversary set. They put them in special boxes. They did special finishes. For the 30th anniversary, they did not do, in essence, a special set. They made special coins. The only two edge-lettered silver eagles in the history of the United States mint are these coins right here, the mint state, or the uh, satin finished coin and the proof coin. These are the boxes that they put, that they used for the tenth, the twentieth anniversary, and the twenty-fifth anniversary. I have boxes left over. Boxes so are I'm going to do the box. I'm going to do the set that the United States government never did, that they should have done. So we are doing. This is our thirtieth anniversary set with the box. We sell these boxes for like twenty-nine ninety-five. And they're absolutely spectacular. So the coins are going to fit right in there, just like this. Separately is one forty nine. Yep. That one separately is one eighty nine. One eighty nine certified. We're going to give you the regular coins in the set that the government should have done for one hundred and ninety nine dollars. For one hundred and ninety nine dollars, you get both coins. You are going to get them in the custom mint presentation box, the one they should have used. They did it for the other anniversary sets. This was the box for the twentieth anniversary and the twenty fifth anniversary. Don't know why they didn't do it for the third. 30th. We have the original certificates of authenticity from the paper box that they used. So you're going to have the proof and the uncirculated. You have the pair at $199.95. And how about, about $49.99 on a flex pay? Well, yeah, that's even more Delivered. ridiculous. I know. I don't even pay attention to flex plays. Well, because we don't offer it very often. We don't own coins, coins very much. Now, Here's the key consideration to this, because of the boxes, because of the, the limited edition of the coins. So if you're looking for the rarest satin finished silver eagle ever made by the United States government, it would be this coin right here. If you were looking for the rarest regular West Point minted proof silver eagle ever made by the United States government, it would be this coin right here. And you get them both. If you wanted to look for the only two edge-lettered American silver eagles in the history of the United States Mint, it would be this coin here and this coin here, saying 30th anniversary right here. If you want to find an anniversary American silver eagle that is marked on the coin itself, being either 10th, 20th, 25th, or 30th anniversary, it would only be the 30th anniversary, and it would be these coins right here. Each coin weighing an ounce of pure silver. Here's what we're looking at. Okay, what you're looking at is an opportunity to own the 30th anniversary set that we put together in the special red oak, pres or uh, the blue lacquer. I always do red oak presentation. The mint has done this blue lacquer box that you're going to have right here. The problem is, is I'm down to my final quantities. We've sold several hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these sets. I have 239 sets remaining. These are the 2016 American Silver Eagles from last year. And they are proof and uncirculated. It's proof and uncirculated. Well, they're actually satin. This is actually satin finish as, a proof, as opposed to the proof. So if you're looking at this, once again, so these are the two 30th anniversary Eagles. If you look at the 10th anniversary eagle once again that coin in in uncertified condition about a five or seven thousand dollar coin the 20th anniversary coin going to be four or five hundred the 25th anniversary coin going to be seven or eight hundred dollars these coins less than a hundred bucks a piece as a matter of fact less than eighty dollars yeah. a piece if you price in the box at what we have sold them for individually over the course of time and we have two minutes on the clock and now less than 200 Ooh, total yeah. available that's, that's the problem so these are going to sell extraordinarily quick quickly okay as well and that's what we would expect because like I said I'm, I'm down to unfortunately final quantities not only from a coin standpoint but from a box standpoint I only had so many of these extra boxes left over from the 20th and 25th anniversary sets so when you open this up this is not the the government did not make this set they made the coins they made the 30th anniversary coins but they never put them out in a special set like they did all the other anniversary sets we're going to go ahead and do their work for them. We're going to give you the box as the government should have, and, and they would have intended. These are the satin finished coins. They're both, once again, edge lettered, 30th anniversary. It is the complete and total uh, uh, anniversary, edge lettered anniversary set that you're going to have right here. Now, as we are counting these down, unfortunately, like I said, our actual kind of hard quantity is about 211 sets. But if you take out all the people calling in, we have 
about four dozen. I know. Okay? I know. So, That's the hard so, part. So, so we have to kind of, kind of have to hit a moving target here. <laughs> uh, is what it comes down to. We've got to lead it a little bit. That's uh, a good uh, way of looking at it. Yeah, because you know we have to guess. You know how many people are calling in because they could have been buying the Kennedy I coin. Know. They could be it's buying true. multiples. It's many true. people are buying multiples of these coins. Now, of course, there's. Uh, uh, they were so busy right here uh, with the phones and everything. So there's people on HSN.com. There's doing all all of that. Understanding too that you know this is the time frame where on the whole west side of the country it's right. only five something in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are just getting in. People mark their calendars for Mike's coin collecting shows. And for those of you who are collectors, you know it is just the best choice to make as far as an investment. At HSN, we have more gifts than ever before. So it's the perfect time to get your HSN card. Save $20 when you apply and are approved. Plus, get extra flex on all the items you love with VIP financing for those larger purchases. Get an additional $10 off your next purchase when you receive your new card in the mail, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. More gifts, more brands, more friends, more merry. Hi there, I'm Michelle Yarn, and you are enjoying an evening full of the best products at the lowest prices ever. Tonight, whether you're an experienced collector or just starting out, stay with us for more coins. Plus, get a head start on your gift list this season with our holiday gift store, where we have got gifts for her, him, kids, pets, and more. Just search gifts on hsn.com. And stay tuned, there's still time to start your coin collection. This is the 225th anniversary. This is the variety of coins. Mm -hmm. This one is really cool. We're going to kind of take you up and through. Now, tell me about this box. Well, it comes in the box. That's this is kind of a new, a new style together. box that I've done. Check this out. So you do, and, and it's, it, it displays like this. So you see all 10 coins, you and this is the 10. set, okay? And then you can just kind of close it up, and that's the way it goes. And I took those out. I'm going to put that right so there. You I took get those the out cent, and put them over there. The so. cent, the nickel, the dime, the five quarters, JFK half dollar, and the Native American yeah. dollar. Okay. Yes. This is a special set. This is, an, we're in a golden age of numismatics, if you will. The United States government, in 2013, released, I think, one of the greatest coins they've ever released, a American Silver Eagle that uh, they called Enhanced Uncirculated. And until 2013, we couldn't even make an Enhanced Uncirculated an EU coin because it was technologically very proficient. You needed to have a laser to literally finish the die to make it shiny in certain places, and the precision was something we'd never been able to do, okay? They made that coin today. That enhanced, uncirculated American Silver Eagle can sell for, I don't know, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Depends on where you buy it. They have released subsequent to that four other, five other enhanced, uncirculated coins between 2013 and this year. They are all tremendously collectible and extraordinary. Now, if you tilt that forward, you're going to have to hold okay. those in place. So I just don't want to do touch that, You can do that, but you're going to have to hold, but you have to physically the hold these. World. Okay. Well, those are going to go. So gotcha. you have to physically hold those gotcha. masks, too, unless you tilt them back up. So there were six enhanced uncirculated coins. This year, for the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint, they made an entire set. They made every one of the circulating denominations of American currency in enhanced uncirculated. In enhanced uncirculated. You're looking at those coins right here. They did 225,000 sets, which they sold August the 1st. It took almost five minutes, four minutes and 25 seconds for them to sell out <laughs> all 225,000 wow. coins. I have the complete set here, certified in Enhanced Uncirculated 70. Certified in Enhanced Uncirculated 70, you have all 10. There are 16 Enhanced Uncirculated coins in existence today. These are 10 of them. They're the 10 brand new ones. And if you're looking at this and value in uh, the, the box that we have over here, you're basically $30 a piece, literally the cost of certification. Folks, it's an amazing coin. Now, so Enhanced Uncirculated is a big deal. The United States government, this, this represents two-thirds of all of the Enhanced Uncirculated coins ever made by the government. But it goes far beyond that. Not only do you have a set that's sold out virtually instantaneously, over two, only 225,000 coins, which in American coinage is exceptionally rare. 
Right now, and I think this will go back and forth, the single most desirable coin in the entire set is the penny. Mm. This is the only enhanced uncirculated Lincoln cent that has ever been made. And you can kind of see, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna open up this set and kind of do this so that I can grab these so I can show box. you individually. That's incredible. If you can see where they laser engraved the die so the one cent stands yeah. out. Yeah. That's what it gives, it gives it depth of field. It has this beautiful matte finish. This coin, I, I, you, you can buy this coin out there individually, but you're going to spend, you can spend as much as 100 or $125 for this coin in EU70 for the penny because it's the only Lincoln scent ever made in Enhanced Uncirculated, which makes that a big deal. Mm. So I'm gonna put that back. By the by, I love you want the only, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thank Dr. Collins, my English history oh, professor. By, uh, the by. Here. by the by, he'll say, oh, by the by. I always thought that was so genteel. So I've, I've adopted that for I the last it. 40 years. <laughs> so you have right here the Jefferson Nickel. Okay. This is the rarest Jefferson nickel ever made by the... Oh, by the way, in, in the Lincoln sense, you know why this is so, so important? Of all of the San Francisco minted Lincoln cents, this is the rarest. They've been making them at the San Francisco Mint for over a century. The 1909 is VDB, a legendary American rarity. VDB? VDB. Victor D. Brennan, who designed it. The oh, okay. 1909 S VDB. Okay. See, I love learning. Is one of the, is one of the most in, in, in incredible coins. This coin is far rarer. In that condition, the VDB would sell, the SVDB, would sell for, I don't know, $50,000 or $60,000, who knows. The rarest Jefferson nickel right here. You look at it, the rarest Jefferson nickel is this coin right here. So this coin should also be selling for 100. If you want the uh, dime, now there is another enhanced uncirculated Roosevelt dime. It was in the March of Dimes set that was made uh, a couple of years ago. It sells for about $100 or so. This should be about the same. You have a Kennedy half dollar. There is one other Kennedy half dollar that was made, not at the San Francisco Mint, but you're going to have this right here. Wow. So you've got this that. Is that we sell for a hundred dollars. They started making enhanced. The most coins that are in enhanced uncirculated are the Sacagawea gold dollars, the Native American dollars. Yeah. The 2013, the very first one they made in EU70. You know what that coin sells for? What? Much as twenty thousand. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, this one, could, this one should be somewhere around hundred. Remember, we're three twenty-nine for the or three forty-nine yeah, for the whole set. For all ten. I'm counting the box at like twenty bucks. And that's before I get to my favorite part of the whole thing. Really? What is it? The quarters. And you if get you five. are looking for the five rarest Washington quarters ever made by the United States government, uncirculated Washington quarters, they're those five right there. If you want the five, on, the five only enhanced uncirculated Washington quarters or quarters of any kind ever made in the history of the 225 year history of the United States Mint, they are all five of those coins that you see right there. So you've got a complete and total set of enhanced uncirculated quarters. And you've got effigy mounds, you've got Ozark Riverways, you've got Ellis Island oh, coming wow. out here. Oh, these are awesome. So you get all five oh. of those. And I know, yeah, can we roll across those again, the quarters? Because I know it looks like they're ultra high relief. That is actually, they, they, they have the same relief as all the other quarters, the laser finishing of the dies makes them jump off the coin. That's how they do it, That's is how. with that laser finishing, because they have altered the perspective of the coin with the finishing of the dies, and that's why they're enhanced, uncirculated. They have this fantastic background of a matte finish, okay, what you call a matte, M-A-T-T-E, matte finish, that they've done, and then when you put that in there, so ultimately what it comes down to is value the box out there. You're basically 30 bucks a coin. This, Every one of these, yeah, I can make a crazy. pretty solid argument that they should be $100 a, a coin. Piece. Yeah. And instead, you're more like $30 a piece. Uh, this one just took off. We yes. are busy. If mm -hmm. you're on hold, I understand, but just hang in there with us or use Express. 577-365. Uh, oh, and, oh, and by the by. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's our, as you can see right here, our first day of issue, which is, of course, exclusive to us here at HSN. 1,092 sets available no place except right here at HSN. So if you're looking for the enhanced uncirculated Lincoln scent right here in the set 1092 match numbered sets and while you may see I saw some PCGS sets out there I think they were 
maybe five or six or seven hundred somewhere right around in there but they're not match numbered look i love pc wow. jets we just sold a pc jets sure. coin but they don't match number their coins they don't individually oh, number oh, their oh. coins i've always not liked that about them but they do here it's absolutely crucial it's absolutely important and it's a critical critical part of the collecting process and that's why we have these enhanced uncirculated set available exclusively here in the first day of issue individually match number and you EU can't get them 70 yeah, everyone's certified perfect yeah so they say buy the best grade you can afford well how about buying perfection how about it the higher the grade the more it's worth that's the key if look any if you're going to collect anything Okay, if you're gonna collect anything, anything that you collect, the higher the grade, the more it's worth, and these are perfect. Understand, they made 225,000 sets. There will not be 225,000 sets in perfect. As a matter of fact, in Annex first day of issue, there's 1,092 sets. So it represents far less than 1% of the sets that were released. And remember, the original sets sold out in four and a half minutes from the United States Mint. Like I said, 10 of the 16 enhanced uncirculated coins ever made by the United States government. It is a fantastic numismatic opportunity. Folks, uh, uh, please take advantage of it. I, I, I'm 99.999% I'm, I'm sure I never go 100%. That uh, uh, this is a coin that you will treasure for generations. These are the sets that came from Denver and are noted so on the, uh, 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 as you can see on the uh, label that you have right here, 225th anniversary Denver show set. And that's why we only had 936 of these, okay? And they're all graded absolutely positively perfect. Okay, they're all graded absolutely positively perfect EU70, and they're individually match numbered, as you can see. Now, these enhanced uncirculated coins are unlike any other coins that the United States government has done. So the set, very rare, 225,000. There are 10 enhanced uncirculated coins here. So you understand, of all the other enhanced uncirculated coins, like the enhanced uncirculated American Eagle mm -hmm. from this, which is the 2013, I mean, I sell that for like $299 or $399 for one coin. For one coin. Okay, the other one's exceptionally rare. Now, when you look at this set, there is one enhanced uncirculated Lincoln cent in the history of the United States government. It is this coin right here. That coin by itself should be probably $349 given the popularity of the American Lincoln cent that you have. What we have got though is this set and here is this enhanced uncirculated. And people always ask people, so what's this enhanced uncirculated deal that we're talking about? Literally, they released the first coin in 2013. Prior to that, we did not have the technology to do enhanced uncirculated. Because the way they do an enhanced uncirculated coin is they take a laser and they finish the die in a very specific way. So you get this coin that looks like it's kind of high relief because of the way, see, they, they took the laser and finished out the one cent part of this. So it looks you raised. See? So it looks raised even though it's technically not. So it's a very technically advanced. So this is unlike any Lincoln cent that's ever been made in the history of the United States Mint in the fact that it's enhanced uncirculated. And as a matter of fact, within the Lincoln cent, this is the rarest San Francisco Lincoln cent ever made by the United States government. This is the rarest. You remember the 1909 SVDB? The rarest coin in this condition is probably 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 thousand dollars. This coin is rarer. Wow. And it's certified absolutely positively perfect. So that is, coin is unique. How about quarters? These are the America the Beautiful quarters. If you want the five rarest Quarters yeah. made by the United States government basically in the last hundred years. You're looking at them right here. Mike, these are going quickly. We have a, we're getting a hold on this, and I don't think we're going to. Because we only have 49 left in this entire edition. Okay. Uh, okay. Remember, this comes in the Red Oak presentation box, which is a $49.99 value. And that's included. Oh yeah, yeah. You get it. Look at this beautiful. Hang on, someone close this up. Look at this beautiful Red Oak presentation box. Oh, okay. Box. Look at how beautiful. The box comes with that for $349.95. So what you're looking at, if you value this at $49.95, and we've sold 
thousands then of them. Then it's $300 yeah, for all the um, coins. It's, it's 30 bucks a coin. Basically the cost of certification for some of the rarest coins, some of the most unique coins ever made by the United States government. There are five enhanced uncirculated quarters ever made by the United States government. They are these five coins that you look at so right here. Complete. They are these five coins. They're the only five enhanced uncirculated quarters ever made. And as you look at those, you can see what we're talking about, uh, uh, what you look at in terms of enhanced uncirculated and there is the limited edition in the set of 936 this is the final quantity so we can show uh, uh, how many are left okay uh, if we so choose there are 48 left in the entire edition of 936 there are 48 left in the entire edition of the 936 coins the Kennedy half dollar they did another Kennedy half dollar in enhanced on circuit. Remember in the 100th anniversary or the 50th anniversary Kennedy set? Look at that beautiful coin. So you can see where they did the enhanced on circulator around that. That coin I think we sold for $100. Yeah. Maybe it was uh, it was eighty nine ninety nine or a hundred dollars. So uh -huh. well, this one's like thirty. Yeah. Wow. Okay. This By the way, this coin's rarer than that other one. This sells for a hundred or, or whatever dollars. Okay. Understand all of that. We had the Sacagawea uh, gold dollar, the Native American dollar. Yeah. Now, I remember all that. Of the, the enhanced uncirculated dollars. There are three other enhanced uncirculated Sacagawea gold dollars. The first one, of course, coming out in two thousand and fourteen. We have one of the most highly anticipated coins that has been all of us throughout the market because the U.S. Mint has announced that we are offering to you the American Palladium American Eagle $25 coin. This is our 2017 Mint State 70 Annex Palladium, something that has never been seen before. It joins the rank of gold, silver, and platinum. Joining us for this special presentation and a chance for you to be able to be one of the few, because the offer here is very limited, is our resident numismatist and expert, Mike Mizek. Mike, it's nice to have you here. Pleasure. This has really been highly anticipated Anticipated. The world has been waiting for this mm -hmm. coin. American Eagle coins in general are some of the most highly collected coins, and this is in a category on its own. Well, it, it basically, it's a new paradigm. It's a paradigm-shifting coin. There's no doubt about it. It is something that the United States government has never done before. It is something that is rare, and it is something that has absolutely, positively exploded in the marketplace. They announced that they were making a palladium coin at the beginning of the year. Nobody necessarily knew why. And one of the big reasons that everybody was concerned about that is because of the incredible rarity of palladium. If we look at gold, we look at Americans' gold eagles, <clears throat> and then you look at platinum eagles. Platinum's about 100 times rarer than gold, which makes it a great value because it's actually less money than gold. But palladium, which is in the platinum family, if you look at the periodic ta table of uh, uh, elements, you know, all down that side, you're going to have platinum, palladium, uh, uh, what is it, iridium, uh, and, and all of those rhodium are all down there on the side. Pal palladium is the rarest of the platinum metals. It's 100 times rarer than platinum. It is 10,000 times, 10,000 times rarer than gold. Wow. So the United States government decides to make a coin out of it. Now, obviously, they can only make an extraordinarily small quantity. So they made 15,000 of these coins. And they did not sell them to the general public. They only went out through what they call their authorized distributor network. There's 12 of those uh, in, in the United States. They then went to their partners, of which we are, we are one of those uh, uh, partners, and allocated these coins based on, in essence, prior business. I was able to get a fairly good coin, but only a, a fifth or a tenth of what I actually wanted. We bought these coins. They sold out uh, immediately. They sold out instantaneously with only 15,000 coins. They have already, I mean, they're out only a couple of weeks, and we're seeing increases significantly in the price of the certified coins by as much as 50%. Now, this is our original issue price, which we will hold for only the very limited number of wow. coins that we already have. And already they've gone like this. And because of this, palladium itself, Itself, as just an intrinsic metal, forget about the coin, I'll talk about the coin part of it here in a minute. Palladium 
has reached an all-time high and for the very first time now trades at a premium to platinum. It is actually more money than platinum now to get palladium. So you have the incredible intrinsic part of this. So you have the first palladium coin ever done by the United States government. Here's the really cool part to me. You may recognize that design. It looks like a big old mercury dime because that's what they did. Exactly. They decided, isn't that cool? They decided to honor Adolf A. Weinman, who designed the Walking Liberty half dollar and did a lot of uh, great coins. And his most famous coin is probably the mercury dime that you see right here. So they took his design. Now, the cool part to me is they did the whole thing in high relief is the reverse eagle, which has never appeared on an American coin before, but it is an Adolf A. Weinman design. He, this is one that was the one that he designed, did a bunch of designs for the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. They went with one that was just the eagle itself, but many people, this was the number two choice, many people love this kind of eagle in action with those almost angelic wings that they it's have really on there. Beautiful. It is absolutely stunning and appears on a United States coin for the very first time. All I can tell you is this is given the fact that what we've been able to do in terms of our original issue price, and I can tell you this right now, beyond this quantity that I have right here in this presentation, the next time I offer this coin, it will, I promise you, be significantly more money. Because already, only because I committed to the coins right out of the chute, only because I committed to the coins immediately, am I able to even offer it at this incredible price. Understand, significantly more money. And the fact is, we're selling it for less than the platinum coins, even though it's significantly rare, considerably more collectible. And what is always adds to the collectability of a United States coin is when they redo another coin. Look at the Buffalo Silver Dollar that they did in 2001. To this day, that coin remains a thousand plus dollar coin, and it's just silver. Take the Mercury Dime, make it the size of a silver dollar, do it in palladium. Sell it out instantly. Right. Don't sell it directly to the United States public and create a frenzy for one of the great and most beautiful, rarest, and most collectible coins ever put out by the United States government. And what you have? Opportunity. And I think also here, the fact that this has already been certified, Mint State 70, so it's in perfect condition, which allows you to have the opportunity to be able to have something that is rare and unique and special. One of the great things about shopping with us at HSN is that we've been around for over 40 years. Mike has been in this business for about that time, pretty much. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be around. We offer to you our traditional 30-day money-back guarantee, but during this time of year, we actually offer to you an extended return policy. Mm -hmm. But remember what Mike said. We have so few of these. This is extremely limited. This has had a lot of buzz out there. It's much anticipated. Coin collectors are looking for this coin. It's one of those coins that if you want it, you've got to go ahead and reserve it and let us send it to you. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about that. And here's the secondary part of that, and you brought it up, is the certification. One of the things that's interesting about there is the difficulty, the difficulty of, of uh, grading and striking palladium coins. Okay, it is the least dense of all the, the platinum metals. Okay, so it's less dense than regular platinum or iridium or rhodium or uh, osmosium. Right. It's, it's le less dense than those. It makes it much, much more difficult to strike and therefore much more difficult to grade. It comes out in kind of a matte finished, uh, uh, kind of a, a, a flatter finish, if you will, because of the uh, lack of density in the coin itself that you see. So it almost looks silvery because of that but then because of that that they were able to strike it in the high relief there so you look like Lady Liberty Mercury in essence you know kind of coming off uh, uh, the front of that coin and particularly on the reverse of the coin that you've got the eagle which is literally almost walking off the coin that you see right there so when you compare this to the high relief gold and the high relief platinums and all of the other high relief uh, uh, coins that have been done by the United States government now add in the palladium, the only palladium coin that's ever been done by the United States government. And, and then redoing the mercury dime for the very first time. So the collectability of it goes over several different things. I mean, you start with the intrinsic value. The fact that palladium is literally 10,000 times rarer than gold. 
is 10,000 times rarer than gold. So a gold coin is, I would sell a one ounce of gold coin, this one ounce of pure palladium. And, and one of the things that people ask me is, so, so it just must be plated, right? Because I mean, you know, right, whoever exactly. heard of, of, you know, rhodium or iridium in, yes. a, in a pure one ounce, right. it must just be, this is pure one ounce of pure palladium, okay? Pure palladium, so not plated or, or layered or anything else, it is pure palladium. So 10,000 times rarer than gold, but basically the same price as a gold coin. So you're getting an intrinsic value discount, if you will, in a, in a coin and a metal that should be far more expensive than what it is, so that becomes in essence a value thing. And then you look at the coin part of this, the fact that they only did 15,000. Now, 15,000 may seem like a lot, but folks, in the world of coins, it's next to nothing. Then add in how many of those 15,000 graded mint state 70. And now you don't have 15,000 coins or 10,000 coins or really even 5,000 coins. Now you're way down there. Yes. And the mintage is extraordinarily, exceptionally, amazingly low. Look, uh, the rarest uh, American silver eagle. Okay, is the uh, 1995W. They made 31,000 coins. That coin in this condition sells for $30,000. It's got 20 bucks worth of silver in it. This has got an ounce worth of palladium. It's twice as rare. It's the only palladium coin. Plus, you have a reprint, in essence, of one of the most popular coins. And if we've learned one thing by following numismatics over the course of the quarter of a century that I've been doing this, is that reprints of American coins by the American government, actual coins, are hugely popular and hugely collectible. And this coin is absolutely, positively no difference. I want to put this out here. Here's the box that we get. Too. That's so perfect. So here's your chance to be mm. able to grab it, guys. All 2017, you probably heard about it, you've read about it, but at this point, you cannot wait. One of the most limited coins that we've ever brought to you, one of the most exciting mm -hmm. coins that we've ever brought to you, and of course, in Palladium, now you have something that you, most people probably don't even have as part of their collection. So give us a call or go to our website at hsn.com to reserve yours. As we've mentioned to you, we wanted to be able to bring this presentation to you, to get it out to those of you who want it. We don't anticipate to hold this price. I know that Mike mentioned that, but I think it's important that you realize that because it is so specialized that those of you that are getting this are really getting something incredible. Well, and it's not anticipatory. It's an absolutely guarantee. Right. Okay. <laughs> now, once we sell through this quantity, which That's by the it. way is not even triple digits, oh, okay, this is double digit quantities. And once we sell through this, That's, that's it. it for this price. I've already seen the price in the marketplace, the underlying price of the uh, uncertified, ungraded coin go up about 30% or so. Wow. So I would anticipate a similar increase in this somewhere between 30 uh, and 40%. Right, so a you're real looking advantage at yeah. to getting it already certified. Uh, yeah, mid yeah. Oh my gosh. So again, go ahead. And not even to take into account the incredible uh, the incredible increase just in the underlying price of palladium, palladium since they've done this. So you've got the intrinsic value, you've got the collectible value, the limited distribution, the incredibly uh, conditional rarity, the fact that it's certified absolutely positively perfect. And then you've got it in our exclusive holder that you can only buy here at, uh, at HSN. So you absolutely love this with the unique eagle on the reverse, with the, with the uh, mercury dime redux on the front front of this coin. It ticks every single solitary box of collectability and everything else with the intrinsic value, the coin value, the limited edition, the high grade, the limited mintage. I mean, there is nothing about this coin that makes it not one be one of the most collectible coins that we've uh, offered for the entire year. Well, I'm excited and I'm excited for those of you who are able to grab it. I would not miss it. This is going to be a coin that will be talked about for years and years mm -hmm. to come. It's going to be exciting to watch Mike here at HSN during the coin collector shows and to anticipate what will happen with this coin. But most importantly, you will own something of substance, of intrinsic value, of historical value, and that will give you that rare piece that we all love. With that, we're going to encourage you to place your orders, reserve it, mm -hmm. don't miss it. We've talked about how absolutely limited, literally double digits. I mean, it mm -hmm. just you could not imagine how limited this is. Is, but we wanted to be sure to bring it in front of you so that you'll have a chance to be able to grab it. Absolutely. At this price, last presentation. All right, everybody. Mike, as always, thank you very Pleasure. much for your expertise. Mm -hmm. We want to thank all of you, and we're going to get this right out to you as soon as possible. Thanks for your time, everyone.
starting off with dogs to begin with. Yeah, we got the year of the dog, yeah. which is, you know, and if you follow the uh, uh, the Chinese lunar calendar, you know, they have all the year. The year of the dog is is one of the most popular, if not the most popular. I mean, certainly ahead of the year of the rat. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not big on the year of the pig. <laughs> or the year of the pig. I think the year, the year of the dog's the better. Yeah, <laughs> and so, so what happens is, and, and, and they, they actually did a really great dog here. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Year of the dog is 2018, as you can see right here. So we're ahead of the game. Ooh. Now, here's the thing. Here's a 2018 coin. They only did 5,000 of these. This was done by the Perth men in Australia. They have a long time, uh, long history of doing uh, the Chinese lunar coins that you see here in solid silver. You can see the, uh, the, German uh, the custom Shepherd. packaging. That's exactly right. And that's what they did. So they did 5,000 of these coins. It was complete and total sellout from the Perth men immediately. We got our allocation, which was which 500 was coins. Teeny. I'm down to 222. <laughs> yeah. And this is my first, first presentation here at HSN. Oh, they sold online? Yeah, HSN.com. Of course. I oh, mean, you wow. know, because we have, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of coins that are only on HSN. And so people shop on there pretty regularly. And this was released, I think, about maybe 10 days ago or so. And we're already oh about gosh. halfway through the quantity. As you can see, beautiful uh, uh, silver, solid silver. As you're going to see, there's Queen Elizabeth in Australia. Uh, 2018. It's an Australian dollar, as you can see. But the year of the dog in solid silver, extremely limited edition. Get it now. It'll sell out long before 2018. Well, and the 5,000, that means worldwide. Worldwide, yeah, it's yeah, not, that's not like our because, allocation. Yeah, because sometimes you do your, you know, limited edition first day of issue that you have, right. um, but that's worldwide 5,000. Right, and when you're talking about, like, the Chinese lunar calendar uh, celebrations, I mean, obviously, it is far more popular in the Far East, right. and, of course, that's why the Perth Mint makes this, because that's kind of where they're based, but we get a very small allocation. We get the, the probably the biggest part of the allocation for North America huh. is through us and like I said we're already half sold through even though this is my first HSN presentation. Um, is there some people who love to collect the lunar uh, coins? A absolutely and then of course then you have the the lunar the people who do the the lunar collecting and then you're going to have people who are just dog right, fans I think, you know. I, think uh, dog I love dogs I right. think if you're a dog owner it's kind of cool or maybe you have a special dog mm -hmm. and maybe unfortunately the doggy has passed away mm -hmm. a lot of my friends consider their dogs kids right. so it'd be kind absolutely. of a neat way to sort of um, 